So today is the day that I go see slots on Roatan Island and I want to bring you along and show you how you can too. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter by showing you how you can hang out with the sloths here on Roatan. But first, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website monkeyandslothhangout.com. They've got a variety of different trips like snorkeling and island hopping, but the one I'm interested in is the sloth hangout. And they respond pretty quickly too. I sent them a reservation late last night and I got a reply a few hours later letting me know that they're gonna be here at 10 a.m. for a pickup. So that gives me some time for breakfast before the pickup comes from my hotel to take me to the sloth sanctuary. So I've been on a been on a avocado toast kick lately since I've gotten here. This is Cafe Escondido. It's right on the West Bay. It's pretty close to everything. And if you saw my hotel review, you know that it's close to the Sea Breeze Inn. Although I gotta say the service is kind of slow. It's just literally some scrambled eggs, tomatoes, and cut avocado with two pieces of toast. And so this particular sanctuary is right on the middle of Roatan. So I'm at the West End, which is at the very bottom or the west side of it and the island is kind of like this long strip Rotan is kind of this long strip and then the sanctuary is right in the middle so the pickup is coming around 10 they'll email you and they'll try to set up a time with you and it's about a two-hour experience they don't take credit cards so you have to go get cash it's worth mentioning too that when you book one of these tours the pickup from the hotel and drop off all of that is included which is a really nice perk so you got your transportation from wherever you're staying is included in the price But people bring them more from the mainland and keep them here as pets. Do you have anything on you that they can take? Hello. So you can see this is a sanctuary for animals that have been brought here. These aren't native sloths or native monkeys to the island. They're brought here, people get them as pets, and then they realize they can't take care of them when they get older or due to their requirements or they try to sell them because they're very expensive. And so this sanctuary is taking them in and caring for them. How uncomfortable do I look? <laughs> not, not bad, bad. Alright. I'm gonna pass the sloth to you. Alright. And then I'm gonna record them for you, okay? Mom, mom, mom. Bring them on a little bit more for me, buddy. Come on over here. Under the foot. Mom, mom, mom. Right here. Yeah, a little bit shorter. Yeah, much more calmer and gentle. Yeah. This one that you're holding is a three toed sloth. Yeah, that's all they do. What you see is what you get with this lot. You, you definitely have the experience. Yeah, with... man. I, what? <laughs> nine years Spanish, Latin channels, doing interviews. So I see all the cameramen doing their job. All right, you could grab your camera. Let's grab our one. There you go. It's a really nice experience. If you're here on the island, the weekends tend to be quieter at the sanctuary, which is really nice. I basically had the whole place to myself. It was a really great experience. I got to kind of take my time, film, and see everything that I wanted to see. If you're coming with the cruise, it's gonna be a lot busier because you're gonna have a group of people with you. So I would say that if you are staying at one of the hotels here, you have the time, try to arrive on a weekend. So in here, man, we have three different types of makuas. We have two red ones. Their names would be Jack and Rose from Titanic. Jack loved Rose from Fiona. And they had Ross and Rachel, Fruit Loop from Seattle, and Johnny Depp. Also rescue? Yeah, but we've had um we've had five born here already too. That's why you see there's so many of them. We have ten in total. But with the weather, like how it is right now, they don't like interacting in this type of weather. Yeah, what they do, they would uh, run the mother off their nest and they'll steal her eggs. And if the, if the baby does not hatch, they'll incubate them and hatch them themselves and they'll sell them as babies. Yeah, sloths, monkeys are all done the same thing. I've actually been told stories that sometimes they even kill the mama monkey to steal her baby off of her. Any animals come to you, so like can go in the cages, it's all up to them. Like the macaques were not very uh, talkative today, so we were just watching them from above. 
Is it worth your $30? Yeah, I think so. I think this is a pretty great experience. It's great to see the animals. Holding a sloth is kind of one of the, probably the best thing that's happened to me this week. It's a really memorable experience. You get great pictures. You also get to learn a little bit about the animals as well as the, the trade for the animals. And so it's a very educational experience. Definitely well worth visiting here. Oh, man, did you have fun? You enjoyed everything? Yeah, it was great. Man. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, man. No problem. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed some of the sloths and some of the monkeys. I'm trying not to get too close because they use their tails to pull things out. But if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I'll see you in the next video.